Years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, this is Alex Bennett, and we're here, and this is the Ramble, and we go until midnight tonight, and we got a guest. Hey ladies and gentlemen, look who we have here, Larry Bubbles Brown. Hi Larry. Hey Alex, and I'm the person you need <laughs> In the middle of a uh, panic. Yeah. And the, uh, yeah. <laughs> Someone who's really going to make you feel uh, optimistic about the future. Okay. Now, my question is, uh, uh, have you been going outdoors at all? Every day. Every day. Mm -hmm. And and what do you what precautions are you taking? Uh, why? Cleaning the hands every time I touch anything. I'm not I'm not getting near people. I'm just going out for runs, and then I'll I actually do go out and occasionally get some fast food. So I gotta you gotta make a connection at the window there. So you gotta wash the hands there with the wet naps. And yeah, you do the drive-in, right? Yeah, well, that's, you, that's all you, all you can do. Right. So uh, you get fast food, and then you go home. Uh, it, 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 let's let people know that Larry is living in a studio apartment, right? Uh-huh. It's like a jail cell. It's got to be like a jail cell. I mean, here I've got, what, something like 10 rooms or something? Oh, yours is big more square feet than a house. Yeah. So, I mean, I, my my big problem here is that I'm still going stir crazy you know last night I finally started getting a little depressed about being just lying there watching TV you know I've run yeah. out of TV shows to watch it kind of makes you rethink the idea of uh, maybe prison is cruel and unusual punishment <laughs> well, somebody said this was like house confinement without an ankle bracelet <laughs> You know, I mean, it 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 it's going to take its toll on people. It's just going to. And and here we're only two weeks into it in New York, and they say, oh, you're going to have to stay indoors for at least another month. Yeah, I heard somebody said there's like there's a limit to the amount of time people could take before they start snapping. I thought it was about five weeks. Hmm. Well, I don't know. You know, I mean. Uh, even with all the room I've got here, I've started getting squirrely. You know, uh, talking to you is the most exciting thing of my day. <laughs> that's bad. <laughs> you know, it's terrible when they, when you, that's the case. I'm going. Well, I just, you know, Sweden is not on lockdown. They're not. They're the only ones. Uh, but how's their? Well, let me let me look at them on the map here. They're certainly they wanted to, they're going to take their chances. Sweden is w way down the list, only 4,435 uh, cases as of when we're doing this little program. And Sweden has uh, had, uh, oh, it's had 180 deaths, uh, only recovered 16. So I don't know why they're not uh, saying stay home. You know, yeah, they're totally uh, free right now. Oh, well, you know, here in New York City, we are such a dense population that staying indoors is a, a necessity. You know, uh, because uh, uh, you've got to you've got to stop the, everybody from getting close to each other. And so it's it's just my wife and I at home and. Um, Coronavirus isn't going to kill me, but I think she is. <laughs> well, I talked to a couple of friends from New York, and they said it's very eerie. The streets are almost totally deserted. 
Yeah, I uh, I did a little thing where I, I went through my neighborhood with a camera, and it was pretty, it wasn't terribly sparse the other day. But I look out the window right now, and there are just a few people on the street, you know? Uh, I mean, everybody is getting... I think finally even those people who, who went, ah, this is going to pass, I'm not going to stay indoors, da, 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 da. I think they're starting to stay indoors because the yeah. numbers are starting to climb so incredibly. And, you know, where we once were making fun of China because they had all these cases, the most cases in the world, they don't have the most cases in the world now. Guess who does? Well, we do, but they're probably lying, so they could still have the most. Well, Italy isn't lying, and they're number two, and number three is Spain. Yeah, you why know. is it so bad there? Uh, I, I don't know. I really don't know. I, 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 you know, I, I look to see where is the one spot on the face of the earth, because I have a map here, where there's basically nothing or very little incidences of it. And uh, Greenland has only had 10 confirmed cases. Eight are active, two have recovered, and no deaths. We better get there. Greenland may be the great survivor, but then again, maybe there aren't that many people in Greenland either. I don't think there's a lot. Well, there's the one continent where there's no cases is Antarctica. Antarctica. And Arc Arctic Arctica. Yeah. No cases. Yeah, there are no cases. I looked down there. Then again there are no people. So <laughs> you know There's a couple yeah. of penguins. Yeah, yeah. And they shit all over the place, by the way. I was told by my friend Shecky who went to Antarctica recently and uh Did he? Yeah, he went to Antarctica. <laughs> and Wow, uh, that's amazing. But uh, and and then he got sick or something, and he had to be taken off the boat. So, and, and Africa seems to be somewhat sparse too. I mean, you go to South Africa, and that's a f pretty big country, uh, and they only have confirmed a thousand three hundred and twenty-six, only three deaths. Uh, so they, they think uh, that could be because they drink that anti-malarial quinine stuff, and that could be keeping it down in Africa. That that could be. Uh, in uh, Zambia, thirty-five confirmed cases, no deaths. In Tanz Tanzania, one death and nineteen cases. I mean, Africa's pretty sparse. Yeah, you know. Uh, all things considered, I mean, as a, it, it, it's as a um, uh, uh, is Africa a continent? I'm trying to. It is. It yes. is. A, it is a continent. Yeah, because it is separated on all sides by water. Um, uh, as a continent, I think they're doing better than just about anybody in Africa. The hot spot is. Uh, Oh, uh, no, uh, oh, excuse me, it says uns unsigned New Jersey, USA, that's near Africa? What is that? Uh, that doesn't make sense. Um, but you really don't have that many. How about, how about Israel? How, how are my, how am I, my, my, my uh, lawnsman doing? Uh, <laughs> let's see here. Uh, I have to, this map is unwieldy. Uh, doesn't look like. Saudi Arabia has uh, ten deaths so far, uh, but I don't I don't see anything for Israel. Huh. Well, could be they're not they don't have it. You know, it was funny. There's wow. this list I have of all these things, and one of the categories is cruise ships. <laughs> yeah, yeah. One of the categories is cruise ships. So, but we're we're leading the world. We're number one. We're number one. I'm guessing the cruise ship business isn't going to come back strong. Well, you, you know, to hell with the cruise ships. All right, you know, they go to begin with. They go. We've got to save them. We, you know, the president says we've got to send them money. Do you know they don't even have American registry? 
they're all registered out of the country for tax purposes. For ta okay. Yeah. So screw them. They can go to hell, yeah. right? You well. know. Plus, they are just floating petri dishes. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good description. Yeah, so I mean, come on, give me a break. I mean, I, I just couldn't, I, couldn't huh? pay me to go on a cruise. That's, I don't see oh. the point. You know. Here's what I don't like about the idea of a cruise. I'm sure it's the same feeling you have <clears throat> that if you go on a cruise, you're stuck on a boat with these people. There's if you don't like the people you're with, there's no way you can avoid <laughs> them. Yes. <laughs> It was like the time that I had to go to a high school reunion, and they held it up in Petaluma, and they were going to hold it on a boat that was going to travel up and down whatever the Petaluma estuary is up there, okay? And I get out of my car, and I go over to the boat, and I look who's getting on it, and I'm going, those are nothing but old people. <laughs> well, of course, they were all people my age. Uh -huh. And then I looked at them, and I'm going, I don't want to be stuck on a boat with these people. So I turned around and went home. <laughs> I, you know, because the idea of just being stuck on a boat with these people. And do you remember the cruises we used to do, the little boat things we used to do as a promotion? I do remember one we did around the bay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Remember, they would take a boat out. A me the worst nightmare that I could possibly have Absolutely trapped. Trapped with fans. <laughs> trapped with fans. Uh, now, I, I, to people who don't have fans, you don't understand the dynamic of that. You know? It's not that you hate your fans. You just don't want to get into a discussion <laughs> with them. <laughs> Because they ask you all these really inane questions. So, you know, I mean, I, I don't know about you, but I just wouldn't want to hang out with those people, you know. Uh, and, yeah, well, I guess that's the, uh, the hmm? great uh, William Shatner sketch about <laughs> people coming up and talking to you about Star Trek 40 years later. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, I would hate to have to be one of those Star Trek people at one of those Star Trek conventions, you know. that That would just be... <laughs> <laughs> insane, just insane. So I have no idea, but that's what. So how have you been? So you you've been you've been staying indoors, right? Well, I go out for my run, then I I go out and uh, I go out in the car quite a bit, and then you know come back. It's come back. It's still light. It's just I'm just really bored. Yeah. And I should I should write or do something, but I'm too depressed to write. So. Jeez, well, you know, so hard to get anything done. And that. also, don't you know. don't have any, you don't have any gigs. Nobody does. No, I did. Uh, I did a gig Friday where I literally phoned it in. Yeah, uh, that was kind of weird, but that yeah. was it. You phoned in a gig. Yeah, I've been accused of that before, but I literally phoned this <laughs> one in. I mean, how did you do that? I guess they had this thing set up with a picture of me, and I just read my jokes off. <laughs> a bunch of businessmen up in North Beach, and they do this thing every year where they get me, and so today, the, last week, they just set up on the phone line. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. That's yeah, incredible. Yeah, I guess some comics are trying to do this thing called Zoom now, where they... Mm -hmm try to perform in front of people on the internet and then some girl did it and she was getting heckled but they couldn't tell where the heckle was coming from <laughs> they were trying to shut everybody down <laughs> <laughs> sounded <laughs> hilarious <laughs> imagine getting heckled during a pandemic my god <laughs> and not knowing where it's coming from not knowing where it's coming from <laughs> son of a bitch that's, um, that's amazing Anyway, but you're holding up well. I'm holding up well. You know, I have to be careful. I, you know, I'm I, because I had those seeds and everything. I'm. I don't know. How, you know, I'm 80 years old. There's a bullet in my head. Okay, so, you know, that that's that's the other uh, little 
problem that I have. But um, anyway, so well, it's good to hear that at least you're okay and you're healthy and you don't have the, I'm sure you don't have the coronavirus, at least it doesn't sound like it. And well, it's weird. I guess what eight, they said 80% of the people that get it won't even know they have it. They don't really don't show any symptoms. Well, yeah. Yeah. Well, so, no, no. 80% will get it, but they will get uh, small, you know, they, 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 they're, uh, it will resolve itself, is how they put it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, listen, we've run out of time. Yeah, in more ways than one. More ways than one. Well, it was something to do today, right? <laughs> we had something to do, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Larry Bubbles Brown. Thank you, Larry. Thanks, Alex. Five years and still talking. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, everybody. How are you? Welcome to the Welcome to the program. Oh, boy, I'm telling you. It's not, uh, it hasn't been good, has it? It hasn't been terrific. Let me just do something here. A little bit there. Give myself a little bit of headroom. Uh, let me see here. Where do we, where do we want to go? Well, first, I guess, I guess we should probably go to the map. Okay, we have a map here that we like to show people. This is our nightly map, uh, and this is um, the coronavirus all around the world. You may notice we are now up to 935,817, so we're approaching the million mark. Now, this is in the world. This is not in the United States, but the United States is leading everybody uh, with 215,417. Look at that. Look at that number. Now, second, in second place, and we have, by the way, total deaths now of 5,116. All right? Total recovery, 8,566. The rest of you are still sick. All right? Second is Italy. And they are just about half of what we have now. You remember when Italy was the big deal, right? It was the big deal. Now it's not anymore. Uh, now it's down to uh, they have 110,000, uh, and they have but they have 13,155 deaths. So they've got about uh, let's see here. U.S. has uh, how many deaths? Five thousand. It's about two and a half times, uh, one, uh, two and a half times uh, what we uh, what we have in deaths. So their death rate is is much bigger. Uh, let me see here. Go to Spain, nine thousand three hundred eighty seven deaths out of one hundred four thousand one hundred eighteen people, and uh, China, which you know you can either believe the statistics or not believe the statistics. But uh, they only have total deaths of 3,316 out of 82,381. Now, you compare that to us, where we have 5,116, and that's only out of, uh, of 215,000, okay? Anyway, and then you got Germany and so on, but the, uh, the whole world... Uh, let me see here. Where, let's go back to the, where do I, how do I get back to the world? Um, put, put down, confirm. I, 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 I thought if I double click there, I would get the whole world, but I'm not getting the whole world. So let's just do this. Hold on a second while I reboot the, the picture. Uh, there are 47,208 deaths in the world. Okay, now here's the graph that's kind of interesting. It's down down here where I'm doing this kind of stuff. You can't, I don't have an arrow coming up, so you can't see it. Uh, but that is the confirmed. Here's a logarithmic look at it. See how that's going up like that, right? That's in the world. And then the daily increase, whoa, we're all the way, all the way up here. Okay, there we go with the increase. Here's the United States, here's our increase. Look at that. We were flat, flat, flat until about the beginning 
Oh, about March 15th or 14th or so. And then we started going up and up. And in half a month, we've managed to gain this many. Logarithmic, it looks like that. Confirmed, it looks like that. That's all pretty scary, isn't it? That's all very, very scary. And I, I don't want to. I don't want to scare you. I I want to keep you. Uh, I want to keep you indoors. You know, don't go out. Okay, uh, stay indoors as much as you can. Now, a lot of times you have to go out. You have to do a few things, but make sure you take all the procedures and precautions that are needed when you go out, and that is wear a, wear a mask. That would help, although it, that's not as important as keeping six feet away from the person next to you, and if not further, okay? And then when you come home, wash your hands, sing happy birthday to you uh, two times and uh, with soap and water, and that should take care of that, you know. You can use Purell, but Purell basically it does this, it is as good as washing your hands, okay? So Purell was the lazy man's hand wash, all right? Uh, and uh, let me see here, what else? Uh, um, yeah, um, uh, if you sneeze, uh, you know, sneeze into your arm, cough into your arm, then your arm gets the uh, the virus, but anyway, th th those are the th those are things you can do for yourself and for others. Now that's the point. Others is very important. By the way, our lines are open if you want to start calling. Um, uh, uh, you know uh, uh, that is very very important. So keep let's let's always remember to uh, keep uh, ourselves. Uh, I'm turning my lights down just a little bit because they're bothering me. Um, you know what happened? I, I, I've been having trouble with these li lights. Oh, okay. Here comes Rob Alfano. But I mean, trouble with the lights. They, they, the, the thing that makes them go on and off keeps going out on me. Here comes Rob Alfano. And let's see here. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. And Chris, Wall uh, Chris Wallace. <laughs> Charles Wallace is calling. Let me see here. Charlie, there's Charlie. Okay, first of all, let me just. Uh, wait a minute, here comes uh, 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 Zeller. Okay, okay. Now hold on a second. I gotta. If, if people slow, slow down a little bit. Slow down a little bit. Okay. I got a. Uh, let's see here. Where am I gonna go? First, I want to go to first place, and I want to put uh, Rob in there. Here comes Rob Alfano. There we go for Rob. And then, um, um, where, where's Rob? Come on. Right here. I know. I'm having a problem <laughs> here. Hold on a second. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. Here. Here. Rob Alfano. Come on. I, I hit Rob Alfano. Go. Okay. There. There's Rob. Should be up in a second. Okay. And then uh, here... Oh, I don't know. In the third place, I guess we'll put uh, we'll put uh, um, asshole face. What's his name? A scuba diver. Uh, that's my new nice name for you. Uh, uh, let me see here. Here comes Patrick uh, uh, calling up. Uh, we don't need you going scuba diving, Phil. Um, so, wear a mask. Uh, what? He said to wear a mask. Yeah. Uh, let me see here. Uh, let me uh, go get Patrick. Uh, the, the be Darth Pat, right? Where is he? There he is. Okay. I should put on my glasses for this portion of the show. Uh, here comes uh, Tony Magno. I'm putting him up. Boy, you people start calling at the top of the show, and it just, it's like, uh, uh, it's, um, okay, hold on a second. Five is going to be, uh, okay, well, we'll. We'll make that to uh, uh, Charlene, and then uh, let's see here. Then we go to. I guess we've got we've got. Uh, uh, let's see here. Let me get rid of this, and then we should be okay. Okay, and then I just need one more to fill in that uh, that blank there. Let's see, the way I had the blank before is that uh, there were two Robs here, but now. Everybody's here. One, two, three, four, five, yeah, five, seven, seven, seven. 
Yeah, seven. And me, eight. Hi, everybody. How are you? Good. Yes. Okay. Still alive. You all sound Still excited. Here. Oh yeah, you're all alive. Well, yeah. You know what I have, what happened today to me is they called me from the hospital to say you're going to come in for your CT scan. <laughs> and I said uh, when and they said can you come Friday? And I said, "Well, yeah, I guess I can." And I said, "Is it safe?" And they said, "Yeah, it's safe." Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of, yeah, it's safe. Yeah, okay, fine, good, I'm glad to hear it's safe. Uh, uh, and so I said, okay, I'll be there. Uh, hold on a second, I'm just trying to take care of some stuff here. I, I'll be there at uh, like, you know, 10.30 or whatever. And then I thought about it, and I went, eh, I don't know. So I called back, and then it took forever for a day or something for somebody to finally get back to me on it, and they said, uh, well, you don't have to... You don't have to do it now. We can do it in three months, okay? All you need to do is go to, uh, like, Quest Labs and have a PSA test done and your uh, uh, testosterone so that we can, have, we can have a kind of a baseline on that. And uh, they say don't be afraid if your PSA goes up because you do have an inflamed prostate. So... Um, I told her I'd wait three months. They say, she said, that we, we can do it in three months. It's just a matter of the doctor wants to see how the, all the seeds were planted and if they, they worked right and so on and so forth. And uh, so uh, that's, that's what I'm going to do. Because I just, I had this great fear about going to the hospital. I, even though where I was going to go is not in the main part of the hospital, you know. Uh, how do you practice social distancing? Can, can they guarantee that? Well, I mean, they, I guess they can guarantee a certain amount of. I'm sure they're they're doing social distancing, all right. They did uh, Kaiser uh, when I went to the uh, when I went in? Yeah. They held you at the door. Mm -hmm. uh, Purelled your hands. Uh, they put a tag on you to say that you'd been, you know, checked. Uh, they asked if you were coughing or you had any symptoms. Then when you went in, they had spots on the little boxes on the floor for you to stand in mm -hmm. so that. You the proper footage from one another. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, I mean, it it probably could have been okay, but uh, you know, I got to take a a, a a car there, you know, mm. uh, and uh, who knows how clean that is, right? <laughs> yeah. You know, and I just I so uh, and I figured if if what I have to have is the uh, is a uh, is the uh, blood test. Uh, they can send me a script, and I can go down the street to 125th Street and go to Quest Labs, which I'm sure is going to be okay because, number one, I can walk there, which means I can keep my distance from people. I'm not taking a cab or anything like that. And secondly, they had a thing on their site asking when you wanted to make a time or whatever, are you over 60 or do you have a, uh, an illness of some sort or another? And you say yes. And uh, I guess they just make sure that when you come, they treat you m more tenderly than they would, say, somebody who's right. 20. Uh, so they, they're aware of that. And I think, you know, that's in and out, and somebody draws your blood, and you go, and that's, that's it. And then I go home, and I, uh, I'll take a shower, and I'll wash my hands uh, and sing happy birthday four times just to make sure. And, um, you know, that's the better way of doing it rather than, than going over to the hospital, which you got to know right now, uh, Saint, uh, Saint Mount Sinai, Saint Mount Sinai, uh, hmm. Mount Sinai is probably got to be just a, a living mess right now. So, you know why New York is reporting as many deaths as they've done? Well, well there's, there's a couple of reasons. Number one, we've done more testing than anybody, first uh -huh. of all, and secondly, because we have a dense population. No, I think they're just chewing up their uh, voter rolls and they're actually letting people know what dead people were voting in all those elections. You know, so what they're doing is they're saying, well, now they're dead. And uh, it's, you know, it's just their way of, you know, chewing it up. Very funny, Phil. Nobody's laughing. 
Well, guys don't have a sense of humor. Well, you know something? Uh, you can have a sense of humor about a lot of things, but uh, one of the things I just don't have a lot of sense of humor about is this, especially because you're not at ground zero. I am. Hey, and I'm in the Bay Area, and that's not a ground zero. You're in Contra okay. Costa. Yeah. That's not exactly the San Francisco Bay Area. Well, on your map, how many people have died in Contra Costa? Well, I don't have that uh, that number, but maybe you can look in your local Contra Costa shop or newspaper and find out, you know. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, it's, it, it's not funny here because we're going to lose, uh, you know, the, the conservative estimate is we're going to lose 100,000 people. Yeah. I, I from the Hoover Institute tonight was saying that a lot of these modeling things that they have for uh, the amount of cases and the number of deaths are uh, not based on uh, good science. Well, that's that guy. Okay. Why you don't know, you work the, on it? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, uh, who, 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 <laughs> what, there are there are a lot of people, and, and Cuomo says this every morning. He says, "Look, everybody has a different model." Everybody has a different opinion on the numbers. The only thing we do know is that we better be prepared yeah. for a good amount. Uh, because it, it, it's not like you wait for that bad time to come and then all of a sudden you react to it. No, this is something you do ahead of time. You want to get out in front of it instead of being back of it chasing it. Doesn't that make sense, Phil? Uh mm -hmm. You know, uh, to to launch so much fear and overestimate, oh, oh, I think you need to be more accurate. It's not fear. What we're trying to do is to get people to stay indoors and to try and beat this thing and to try and mitigate it. Well, that's okay. You know. Well, apparently, should... apparently, the nice way doesn't work because they go out and play because basketball. Two hundred eighteen thousand oh, cases. You'd rather yeah. you'd rather have the communist China way, which is right. oh, in the street. Yes, right now. Right yeah. now, absolutely. How about the South Korea way? Oh yeah. How about they the South? They only have nine thousand cases. And I think they only have a handful of deaths there in the hundreds. If I if I look here, I'll tell you right now, uh, South Korea. South you, Korea. you know what? I know what you do care about is this economy. Mm -hmm. And whether we lose people or not, or if it's slow, it's going to take longer to recover. If everybody stays indoors, we could get there quicker. Yeah. Uh, I think what we need is the testing that uh, has just been developed with the five minute result. And if we test enough people, we'll get a good model at that point to be able to base the statistics well, on. Well, but they, they're not, they not going to have that fast testing and enough kits to take care of the entire country immediately. It's going to take you know, it's going to take many, many months to get out that many. You don't need to test the entire country to create a model. Yes, you do. You do, because you need to know who doesn't have it. Yes, Jeff. I would like the genius president to tell me <laughs> how many of those instruments are we going to have this month? What instruments? Uh, the testing instruments? Yes. Uh, the, as he calls them, the testing things. The he can't hear Abbott on. On. Uh, can be performed on, in the field or by a doctor in his office and get a five-minute result. So uh, it's not that they need a lot of the kits. They, you know, they just have that module that fits in there, and then they put the swab in it. How many are we going to have? How many are you going to have, Phil? I can't get oh. tested here in Texas. Do you, you have the symptoms? No, I don't. But you have to test what? everybody because I could, be, I could be spreading disease all over the place and have no symptoms myself. Right. They're saying a lot of people yeah. just have these symptoms. Yeah. Alex, my my cousin Joy just uh, she just took the test mm -hmm. yesterday. Mm -hmm. She's got pneumonia. Mm -hmm. She's got and she got a hundred hundred feet a slight fever. Mm -hmm. She thinks she got it from her son picking him up from college. But she's got pneumonia. Yep, she's yeah. home right now. But she, she doesn't have. Does she have coronavirus? It sounds like she does, Alex. Yeah. I no, said she. I'll let you know, but it sounds like it to me. And uh, you know. And you know the death rate in Italy, Phil, is about eight to ten percent. That's yeah. not. Much you know, saying yeah. about that death rate in Italy, they said that uh, they had determined that a lot of the people that died died from underlying 
uh, issues yeah. and not yeah, but they don't from the virus. Don't Phil, die. Phil, most people who die of the coronavirus die because they have other yeah. things going. Nope. Uh, the main one, do you want to know what the main one is, Phil? What the, uh, what the largest population of the dying is? Uh, Democrats? No. People with diabetes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Number one. That's Number one. Ain't going yeah. yeah. So uh, you want to talk about being uh, in the crosshairs? Go uh, have go have a candy bar, Phil. Yeah. <laughs> Patrick, you're quiet. Yeah. You 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 know you you're kind of circumspect about all of this. Yeah, nobody wants to hear what I have to say, so I'll just. Come on. <laughs> Whoa! Belt it out. Of course, we want to hear what you have to say. I, I'm I'm somewhere between all of you and Phil. I mean, um, yeah, it's something to to be wary of. Mm -hmm. Um, I still look back at the swine flu, mm -hmm. eight, uh, N one, whatever the hell it was. Yeah. And that went worldwide. And the thing is, we did not have social media to stir everybody up and get everybody so afraid. Mm -hmm. And the death rates were high then. I don't know what they were in America, but worldwide and within this country. Plus, we have flu every year. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, people die of cancer, there's so many things. And that's the other thing that need. I think a lot of people are overlooking what Phil was just trying to say is mm -hmm. a lot of the death worldwide and in this country mm -hmm. are coming because people have underlying health issues. And I tell you, if you're diabetic or if you have cancer or you have any number of things, mm -hmm. you're at higher risk. So, you know, if, if somebody's going to kick off at 55 and they've got diabetes, chances mm -hmm. are they, that was the landing punch that knocked them out. Not well, also, also age has a lot to do with it, too. And, and part of the reason why age is because yeah. as you get older, you, you, you have many more issues physically. Yes, uh, Tony. Here's, here's why I can tell you that's nonsense, the swine flu. Let's use New York as an example. When the swine flu was here, I know people who work in the hospitals. We were not inundated with patients dying. There was no body bags being taken out. If, we were, if the swine flu was comparable to this, which you can't compare it to, it wouldn't be going on like this. Yeah, I so mean, we're we already, should, we're already swine way past the swine flu. Like Okay. You'd be having, yeah. how could we have the mass epidemic when the swine flu was here? Evidently, it was probably handled correctly. Well, well, well it, may, it may not have been, it may not have also summer. been quite as epidemic uh, in we, nature. We would have a boat in the, on the west side. And we yeah. learned today the CDC fucked everything up. Yeah. I mean, what do they do? I, I heard something and I, in passing, tell us what that is, Rob. Ah, it's, uh, that's what Pence was saying this morning when they interviewed him. He blamed it all. You know, this is the past the buck presidency, right? The past yeah. the buck administration. Yeah. So blamed it on the CDC. I saw the head of the CDC getting interviewed tonight on Laura Ingram's show. And, uh, <laughs> well, you, Boy, you really you really go for the accurate news. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. The crop. He, said, he said that uh, they uh, that the uh, that the tests that were uh, that they said that they let the CDC generate and then the uh, it was the head of the FDA and then the FDA approved them they approved them within 24 hours but the protocol was to let the CDC do it not go to private concerns mm -hmm. once they opened it up to the private concerns uh, to come up with the tests uh, they were generated very quickly uh, in the case of Abbott I think it was uh, six weeks and uh, you know, and so Trump made the difference and tr and Pence made the difference of opening it up to private concerns rather than just doing it. Oh, the way God, God, bl God, God bless them. They've been so helpful in all of this. God bless How can them. They not be oh, the, other, the other reason Hi, that there's Kevin. So many deaths in uh, New York is because uh, of muggings. What? 
Eat Monk. the criminals aren't even what? on the screen. <laughs> what? Wait, 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 wait. Is that a joke? Yeah. <laughs> it's probably yeah, it's a valid joke. Oh, boy. I mean, it's it's actually really sad. I'm annoyed by this because I don't... Rob's right. They never take... They never... It's always somebody else's fault. It's never his. Well, you know, we I mean... everything right, and we don't... I don't know. It's He's just like a spoiled parental child. He's like, enough already. You out of jail? What? Tony on... Alex, he never, he never takes blame for anything. Why should he? How many times is he going to say... The virus is his responsibility. Did he bring the virus over here? He let he, it. He let. He let it. He he let. He could have. He almost let it in by his its hand. All right. Perfect example. Alex. They all talk about the swine flu. Wait, 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 just wait. hold it down, Phil. Let Tony talk. He yes. Made it. It was Patrick brought up the swine flu. Hmm. I wonder. It never got here, and didn't kill this many people. Maybe because I, I don't know. Maybe because our leaders did the right thing and handled it, and it didn't become a pandemic. Yeah, you don't know why it didn't. Come. No, Phil. No, but did we have? It's body just bags as possible that that's the truth, though, there, right? There Phil, was. Where was the boat on the west side? Rob, Phil, Rob. By the, yeah. As much yeah. air travel yeah. And, yeah. and work between yeah. China, and the yeah. United right. States, and China and other oh, countries. Yeah, right. It's all China's yeah. fault. Right. Yes, Rob, you were saying. No, I just said uh, all I did was say it's you know what what um, you know that whole thing about. Uh, it's just as possible that the previous administration did a good job mm -hmm. <laughs> keeping no. it out. Just mm -hmm. as possible as. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, I, it, it, I, the Trump's, point is, it, 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 I and I I agree with the Mar uh, with Andrew Cuomo when he said, uh, you know, let's quit blaming anybody. Let's just get yeah. this thing done. Let's quit arguing with each other. You know, and. Um, I think that's the problem. I think we today the president. Now this I don't. Ha, I have no idea why he did this. Today he was did. his his he. It, it, what, how I put it was in the morning I get the Cuomo human show, okay, and then at about six o'clock every night I get the uh, Trump comedy hour, and uh, there's always usually something to laugh about because it's his take on the coronavirus and where we are today. Now, every day when, when Cuomo goes on, he tells you where it's at, where the numbers are, and then he gives, he kind of gives a pep talk at the end about how, you know, this is terrible, but on the other hand, uh, you got to look at the positives too. And you got to look at the fact that this is a chance for you to connect with people you haven't connected with before because there are things like Sky. I mean, he'll give some kind of uh, pep talk that way. Then you go over to Trump today and you go, okay, well, I'm going to hear the latest take on what's happening. Did anybody watch that press conference? I did. We had the caravan again. No, what, uh, no, but what, what, what was the whole thing about? It wasn't about the pandemic, was it? No. no. It was about, about, it was about stopping narcotics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's what did the What is it? Wait, that's not what we're tuning in for, you moron. Mm -hmm. Exactly. We're he's spinning the fucking uh, needle again. Did you see that today, Rob? Yeah, we, uh, the CNN dropped it real quick. They're like, we're not going to give him. Yeah, that. I like that. And Alex, the local news oh, dropped it in our area. It MSNBC it dropped down. out of it too, and then said, we'll go back to it when he's talking about the coronavirus. Right. I was glad they Instead, it was that, a bunch yes. of generals there going, well, they better stop sending those drugs up here while we're having a pandemic. Mm -hmm. They should smoke while something. While everybody's dying. dying. Yeah, don't you think down there they're not coughing their brains out? You know, I mean, come on. Just, just I mean, what was that one about? Alex, is that one of his rallies now at 6 o'clock? I'm wondering yes. if that's what he's yeah. doing. Because he, do he can't do the rallies. He's gone. I've seen him go as watch. long as two hours on one of them things once you know charlene wake up and i like when he said about the caravan <laughs> it was coming but i stopped it was they, was they mentioned the caravan i, no, I was out of the there by i was eating my chicken pot pie and my mother heard the caravan i was like you know what that should be the least of our problems yeah the caravans are heading up here yeah that's the least of our problems by the way you know what what it, to show you how pervasive this whole virus thing is in america can I tell you what we forgot today? April Fool's. April Fool's. That's correct. I didn't forget because I woke up to an April Fool's joke. Did you really? 
Yeah, I'm my sur- ex boss who just left the company, mm-hmm. um, somebody who I really didn't want to see leave, left mm-hmm. the company because the company offered a retirement package, right? Yeah. So this morning, I get up, I'm looking at my email, I didn't even have my coffee yet, and I see Rob, don't tell anybody. But and then he mentioned the big muckety muck, you know, called mm-hmm. me and said, um, you know, we want you back. And he made me a deal I couldn't refuse. Don't tell anybody yet. Right. <laughs> so I'm like, what the hell? And so I'm thinking it's spam. I think somebody got his phone or something. I checked his email. It was really his email address. I'm asking people. I'm like, have you heard from Jimmy? Have you people are like, no, I remember. So finally, I am calling Jimmy's phone. I'm call. I called him three times. I kept getting voicemail, mm-hmm. and finally, about 11:30 in the morning, and I had spoken to about six people by then. He calls me and he says, "I got gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> <I gotcha. laughs> you." By the bitch. way, by the way, it, when we that. when we have this many people and we have uh, 11, and me, mm-hmm. is that is that is that the uh, jackpot? Phil? <laughs> He's worried about the caravan. It, 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 Phil? Is uh, it? I think you got 10. I got, no, cool. I've, wow. I've got, I've got, let's see here. I've got 8, 9, 10, 11. I've got 11 people right now. 11. I, yeah, I, I, I think yeah. if you use Zoom, you could have 100 people. Yeah, no, you got uh, six bubbles and four squares. That's 10. Uh, wait a minute. I see here. Uh, uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, oh, I see what it is. Okay. I, I've got to do away with that one. Yeah, you got two fills. You, you, no, no. I haven't, I haven't got two fills. Oh, there I do have, do. T- I have two fills and fills. I have two Kevins. Three in box. Uh, There's somebody I don't have, maybe? I don't know. I, this is this is just. Sure. I, I have no Kevins. idea what this is. Okay, hold on a second. Oh, Tampa, 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 Tampa. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Now That's what I got to do is I got to go to 12, but I got to get rid of uh, this. And uh, let me see here. Where am I going? I got to get rid of this and uh, this. Oh, wait a minute. No, excuse me. Oh, God, this is just going to be mad- maddening. And hold on a second. Somebody else is calling. Hold on a second. Let me see here. Uh, I've got to go here to... What, what, what do I got? Bree. Maddening. Hold on. John, John, you got to turn your audio down, John. We're getting you. You know. Uh, eight, nine. There we go. There, there's that. And, and uh, here's this. And uh, what I'm going to do is get rid of this. Oh boy, this is uh, this is getting to me. I can't. Uh, I'm not very good at this anymore. Uh, okay, what what do I need now? We now have we have, we have Kevin. Hold on a second. Just let me get things done here. Yeah. Uh, I got to go here, and I go to uh, nine. And wait a minute. Why? Why is why is he there? But nine. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. At nine. Oh, okay. Nine. Hello. I'm okay. Here. Wait a minute. Cancel. Hold on a second. Nine. If to people listening to this uh, as audio, they got to be going <laughs> crazy. Okay. First of all, there's. I got to find your Trump I, talk. I, I got to find. Come, just don't say anything while I'm trying to do this, please. Okay. We have. Do we have Bree in there? Do I have Bree in there? No, I don't have Bree in there. Okay, so Bree goes in there. I know, I know. I'm trying to find a place for you, Bree. Okay, all right. Okay. I, you know, I we do classes now online. We never would use Skype. It's just terrible. Yeah, but you see, it isn't. I'll, I'll explain that to you in a second. And now, who do I have? And John Larkin. Let's see here. Where is? Uh, well, let's see here. I want to put him in the ten spot, which would be. I'm trying to see what what name are what name are you using there? Are you using a particular name? Uh, just John Larkin. Wait a minute, no, you're you're something else. You're really? one of these long numbers that people. That's in here. You got yeah. two Brees now. Wait, I've got two Brees. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't. Hold on a second. What is what is this? 
Hold on YouTube, you do. No, there's John Larkin. That's, I, I, oh. We're delayed. Oh, I see. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, here, you, are you happy now? You'll see. But but I'm still trying to figure out which one is John Larkin. Uh, he's got to be then. Uh, let me try this. I don't. How have... come it has a number, not my name? I know. What is the number you have there? I don't know. It's, yeah, I, I I don't know how to. I, I'm kind of new on Skype, so I don't know. I'd hardly oh, ever that's use it. Her. That's who is this? Okay, let me see here. What do we got? No, that's boy. I can't find you because you don't oh, have you know what? because you don't have yeah. your name. Yeah, I get uh, it. Here, I, get it. Uh, I think I know where it might be. Maybe this is it. Let me see here. No, that's that's Charlene. See, the thing is, oh, folks, you, know that you really got to put your names up there because what's it, your Skype address? What you need to know. Yeah, what your Skype address is. Um, Skype name it says live C I D D E L six nine D E L. Wait a minute, D wait a minute, live D E F. And then it's what D E F sixty nine C E F. There, there we go. Okay, all right. I think we got you. No, that's oh, there we go. Okay, here we go. Okay. Oh man, that you know, how long did that take me? About fifteen minutes to do. <laughs> that was fifteen minutes of decent radio. Uh, it was better than. <laughs> yeah, yeah, did we? And we gained people. Uh, anyway, they love seeing me have technical problems. You know. Yeah. Um, but what what I was going to say is that you know, it's it's just that I, I've never. I, I'm usually not too terribly fearful about these things. They go, well, if I get a cold, I get a cold. Okay. If I get the measles, I get the measles, mm -hmm. you know. And, um, but in this case, I'm, I'm, f I'm frightened to even go outside. You know, yeah, I'm going to have to go down to, to uh, Quest to get my, uh, my, my little, you know, blood draw, which is no big deal. And I'm going to go, if I had a hazmat suit, I'd wear it. <laughs> You know, I don't. Yeah, I mean, I'm just. I'd be going in the yard. I don't. I'm afraid, actually. I've never been this. Yeah. Yes, much. Charlene has her hand up. But your microphone isn't on, Ooh, Charlene. You did. Yeah. No. Now, can you hear me? There you are. There you are. We, we, wait a minute. You're going on and off, on and off. Well, you're not coming through, Charlene. Is this going to be a whole night of technical problems? Is that what I'm up for here? Better now. You can hear me. Yeah. 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 Now we can't. <laughs> now we can't. Don't move next time we can hear you. Well, no, I think I think it's the plug. I think it's her plug is bad or something. Right. Or it's not plugged in right. You know, but... Uh, Anyway, try and fix it. From one person's technical problems to another's. Yes, right, exactly. Uh, Mr. Larkin, how are things in uh, in San Francisco in the tenderloin? Um, it, I had a lot of people on the street, like, you know, just doing drugs. and But, um, you know, it's uh, really very, very quiet if you go down, downtown. Everything's boarded up. It's really... There's nowhere to go and, you know, get anything to eat. There's McDonald's is the only thing that's open. I'll tell you, the, the, the only the, place the, here uh, today he, he, for San Francisco. And, I was and talking, the Phil. Huh? I was Where talking. that there's only a McDonald's? Well, I, I, I live in San Francisco. Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, no, but what I was going to say is, you know, in New York, we call it the city that doesn't sleep. It's snoring. Yeah. It's so quiet out there. You, you know what I'm I talking about? Las Vegas was the city that never slept. No, New York. That's the place that it... Uh, no, when I lived in New York, everybody slept. No, but there's a song <laughs> about New York where they say the city that doesn't sleep. You know, and it, it really doesn't. It goes 24-7. There's always sure. something happening. And, you know, there's, there are people outside my window at night screaming and yelling. I don't hear that anymore. Everybody's inside, yeah. The only good thing that's happened in my life 
about, and and it, you know, it, it, as I said, Cuomo always says, try and look on the bright side of things and what kind of things this brings you. It brings you closer to your family and whatever. And today I had that blessing. They canceled Wimbledon. Yeah, I know. I saw that. And so I don't have to spend two weeks hearing pop, squeak, bop, squeak, bop, squeak, bop, squeak, <laughs> bop, squeak, <laughs> bop, squeak. <laughs> bop, squeak. <laughs> so uh, uh, if, if, if girlfriend is listening, I'm sorry that they canceled your Wimbledon. <laughs> <laughs> So they're not going to do it this year. They're going to do it next year. So, uh, you know. But uh, uh, how, how's everything in Malaysia? Well, I mean, it's the same situation. We're still under lockdown, and some people uh, obey it, and some people don't. Yeah. Um, they don't seem to quite understand that, you know, if everybody <laughs> obeys it, the shorter it will be. Yeah. Um, so they've now announced that... Um, I think we're going to April 28th is the new date. Mm -hmm. uh, it was supposed to be April 14th. Now we're at April 28th. So, and as we get closer to that date, they'll make the decision then. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, so, you are you getting a little squirrely from being indoors? Um, a little bit. Yeah, sure. But um, I got to tell you, we have a pretty big house here. Uh, it's much bigger than what we've had uh, in the last two. Uh, living uh, situations so we can pretty much isolate <laughs> from each other pretty well and um, there was an emergency that one of the toilets was leaking this morning I had to fix it because you can't call anybody mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah I mean we're just I actually kind of like it what I do I prefer to do online um, By the way, we'll get I to you in a getting, second, Patrick. Go ahead. Yeah, keep I was going. getting my team on board. It's funny. Last uh, semester, I was telling them, we have to do more blended learning. And they, they were kind of like, oh, well, yeah. And then I said, let's do two weeks next semester. Two weeks, everybody, please, please. Just two weeks. They're begrudgingly, begrudgingly, I got them to agree to that. They all started taking workshops. They started learning more. And then a month later, they're like, everything, 100%, we're going to be online. <laughs> okay. And they were all prepared for it because they were already doing it. So. Pa Patrick has his hand up, so I should go to Patrick. Yes, Patrick. <laughs> Patrick was holding his hand up for the longest time. Who? His hand right now. Uh, oh, we, Charlie? Charlie said his Oh, oh, oh Char uh, okay, I'm sorry. Because, you know, my problem is I only have a very little screen here when I got this many people, and I can barely see anybody. I probably should put my glasses on. But, uh, uh, Charlie, sorry that you lost all feeling in your arm, but now you know what the rest of Patrick's body feels like. So, so go ahead. But, uh, no, I just wanted to make the point is that the difference between Cuomo's and, and Trump's conferences Cuomo has expressed compassion and sympathy for the people who have the disease, and he's given out facts, real facts about what's going on. So mm -hmm. you go, you listen to his his conferences, find out what's going on. Trump spends more than half of his conferences patting himself on the back on what kind, what a great job he's doing, and yeah. not giving you any information at all. And what information he does give you is half the time wrong. Yeah, yeah, but I mean. Now he said there's a vaccine or something. Did you see that? Who? Trump. Um, no, really? Yeah. yeah. Um, I'll, believe it. For over I'll believe it when I see it. You know what I notice about John Larkin? John is the first name, right, John? See? Yeah. I yeah. told you a couple yeah. of times on this show, and I'll remember your name. Um, yeah. You have a piano in back of you. I do. Do you play piano? Uh, not very well, but, you know, I, I practice. I get a lot of time to practice now. Yeah. And, gotta, uh, and, but you also have a guitar, right. and I notice you also yeah. have a, a, maybe a saxophone. Saxophone. Saxophones oh, and a clarinet. Geez. Oh, hey, can you play a little of the clarinet for us here? See, I mean, not we, very we, well. <laughs> we have nothing else to do with our lives. We're all <laughs> stuck indoors here. Uh, I'm not very good, that, that's though. That's the thing, you know, though, so Alex. I, I don't know I, how I just, many... Oh. Well, a little begin the begin. <laughs> well, I, I have so many friends who are musicians. They're doing concerts every night. So last week it was great. This week, yeah. Uh. And by <laughs> next week, you're going to be so tired of it that you don't want to hear them. Uh, but 
Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. Um, my that. my friend, the lead singer of Rusted Root, is doing one tonight. Yeah, yeah. But I forgot that when I you play the clarinet, them. you got to wet your reed for a while. Yeah. Don't we all? <laughs> <laughs> I can't play it though. I, you know, I'm not a musician. Oh, I'm you just. Uh, yeah, I can't play it. I just, you know, I just practice. <laughs> well, let's let's hear. Let's just hear something come out of that clarinet. Okay. 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 You just. He knows how to wet his reed. Uh, <laughs> let me see here. Keep talking. And I'll I'll let you know when I'm ready. Okay. okay. Um, uh, let's see here. Who, who haven't we uh, called upon? Was Patrick and Patrick have. Uh, did you have your hand up, Patrick? No, no. Oh, okay. He was just trying to tell me that you he you had your oh. hand up. Oh yeah, thanks. How man. about you, Kevin? How's everything in your neck of the woods? <laughs> okay, you were you were absolutely right. You can't play. <laughs> Sometimes the instrument is like glowworm. Boo. He froze. Oh, keeps me there. sane. Yeah. Okay. It keeps you sane. Does how do, does it drive your neighbors yeah. insane, however? Yeah, it does. Yeah. 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 What, 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 who am I? Who are we getting? Slap getting some slap back. We're getting some slap back from somebody. Let me see here. Let me, let me. It could be me because you told me to mess around with the plug. Oh, well, now we can hear you, Charlene. Oh, really? Yeah. What, right. what, what did you want to say? No, no. When you said April Fools, they had told me April 1st I might be able to get my nails done. So that was my April Fools that I couldn't get them done today. They faked us out and they said hair and nails were April 1st. Mm hmm. It's going to be more like uh, June, maybe. Who yeah. knows? Let me ask. Uh, let me ask uh, uh, one question. Here's what's happening with me. Uh, I need a haircut. <laughs> I'm getting to need a haircut, and I'm buy not going to be able to get flippers. one. I'm not going. Well, I'm, I think I'm going to send away for them at, at Amazon. Yeah. If they I did. Oh, really? Number two, it's number five. Floppy. Number two and a number five, huh? There and you, and you go. just go yamp, 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 yeah, right? Just go round, and actually, my wife did the back and stuff. Number two here and number five here, and it looks just like it did when I came out of the barber shop. Hmm. Maybe I. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to send away for one. Any, any particular brand you like? Yeah, I, I for on Amazon I got the Wall brand. Yeah, it's wall twenty-five dollar. Wait a minute. Hold, hold on a second. I'll order it right sizes. now. What is it? Wall. W-A-H-L. Right. W O W A H L. Yeah, I know the brand. That's what the pros use. Yeah. Okay, so Five bucks. The, can't get hurt. The, the wall. Let's see here. A professional lithium ion cordless, one hundred and thirty-nine dollars. No, we don't want yeah, that you one. Could that. The wall cordless. Let me see here. Did you say there was a cheap one? I didn't so see. Yeah, it's twenty-five cheap bucks. One. Twenty-five bucks. I don't see one for twenty-five bucks. Maybe they suddenly went up in price because of the. Uh... <laughs> and I just got them. There's a lot of gouging. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see if I can tell you the exact um, model. I'll look up my orders. I just recently got it. In case people want to see what I'm looking at here. here. We go. It's Let's the see. Wall Color Pro Cordless. The Wall Color Pro Cordless. Let me see here. Let me put that in here. Uh, and, wall and... Color. Yeah, Color Pro. Uh, wall Color Pro. There it is. It comes up. And there it is. Twenty-five and, bucks. And uh, wait a minute, here here it is. Twenty uh, wall yeah, twenty-six bucks. Twenty-seven, twenty-seven bucks. Free delivery for Prime members, temporarily out of stock. Uh, I guess a lot of mm -hmm. people. A lot of people probably. Yeah. Uh, going like crazy. Uh, plus dot hair clippers. Yeah, it's got everything you need. It's got scissors. It's got a couple of combs in there. Yeah, I know. It just says it's temporarily out of stock. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Well, what the hell? You know. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's, that's, that, that's so, a pain. So this in the thing world. is supposed to go on. It's supposed to go on until like June or something, right? 
Yeah, well, by then I'm going to be back down to the way I was when I was uh, a hippie. <laughs> you know? Yep. If I can't find, a, uh, if they don't have the clippers back. I, I don't know what I'm going to look like. It's terrible. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> let me see here. I'm going to go here, and then I'm going to put this on my wish list, and then I will remember it. If I can put it on my, where's your wish list to go? I don't have no idea. Put it in my cart. I could put it in a cart. Uh, saved for later. No? Oh, well. I don't know. I give up. Amazon is just kicking ass. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know if they're kicking ass, because here in New York, uh, they're, they have people walking out. They're on strike, yeah. There's a big strike, yeah. yeah. They, they're saying that the company is not taking care of them and of their health, you know. That they may be gloves, the case, yeah. but they're hiring another 100,000 people or something like that? Yeah. They want to raise, they want gloves, masks, sanitizer. Yeah. Damn it, this looks like a good one, too. Too bad. Let me see here. Oh, let's go. That, huh? That, 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 that's really, uh, let me see here. Uh, let's see, we're working hard to get it back in stock as soon as possible. We'll email you with an estimated delivery date as soon as we have more information. You could buy it and put it in your, you know, just buy it and they won't charge you and then th yeah, they'll I'll, keep updating I'll you. I'll buy it now. I don't need the personal care protection right. plan. Right. There we go. And, 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 and then. About Walgreens. About the Walgreens. Uh, yeah, but I'm not going down to Walgreens. Anyway, I'll, 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 we'll see what happens. See, see if I get an email that tells we me. We can do that, haircuts on GabNet one night. We'll all sit here and. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, I mean <laughs> that too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need it soon. You know. I'll uh, just go for the Brie hairstyle. The Brie hairstyle, yeah. All right. What do you do, Brie? Well, I just uh, shave it. I, I use. Uh, I have two uh, devices, a Philips and a Braun, mm -hmm. I think. And yeah. so if it gets a little too long, I shave it that way. And then I use a regular mm -hmm. razor like that. Oh, I want to place so my order. I, I, I let it go. Sometimes you see I have a beard and sometimes I have some up here. Just depends on how I'm feeling. <laughs> Your estimated delivery, not yet available. So <laughs> we'll see what happens, man. They, they have nothing left on Amazon. What was I looking for on Amazon the other day? And they didn't, you know, they the didn't. Bike, my, Phil's going to cut his hair. Look, Phil, that, that oh. looks like a dog trimmer. <laughs> right, yeah. it does. <laughs> no, no. Big machine for the amount of hair you see. Yeah. 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 It goes to piping in there. W A H L. Mm-hmm. And uh, these things come off. Yeah. And you can put on different lengths. That's a guard, yeah. Right. You got to have long hair for that one. Uh, yeah. Well, it depends on what you're trimming. <laughs> so I have these two. <laughs> it's TMI right see. there. Wall I color. If I if I were to go uh, <laughs> online and just it's ask a about it. One. Here we Is go. that what you use before your surgery? <laughs> wall color. Here's Wall USA. And uh, do they have them in okay, stock? Okay. If it's oh, show and tell, I'll get mine. Oh, there. <laughs> do, do, <laughs> wall at wall. So it can self-clean. Yeah, but stuff. but wall at wall oh, wow, is cool. out of stock. Yeah, it's. Yeah, wall, yeah they got to make more. I immediately thought about it. I was like, shit. I, yeah. I need a haircut. I better do something because I don't think there's going to be any time soon I'm going to be able to get a haircut. Yeah. Now, so, so yeah. you're hoarding uh, uh, manscapers, and <laughs> now you're going to be hoarding toilet paper. I only have one. I didn't, I didn't bought one. I didn't buy 10. Uh, look at Bree. How many has he got? <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm jealous. Everybody's got one. <laughs> You know what though? I do have I do have a beard yeah, thing I use. Too. I do have a beard thing I use, and I think it has other clippers for it, if I'm not mistaken. Probably good. And I bet yeah, I can cut my hair with, with it. I bet I can cut my hair with it. Yeah, get away with that one. <laughs> yeah. Like well, these are all the ways we're looking to get by, folks. If anybody has any other helpful hints. <laughs> yeah. Who would have thought we'd be in this predicament? We can't even yeah. get a haircut. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, there's no way he wins in November. There's no way. Well, I got one. 
uh, a week or so before all of this took place. So I was lucky. It'll, it'll last me six weeks, and so will the, uh, you know, the shutdown. You know, what we have is a bottle of Purell. Uh, dream on. We have a bottle yeah. of Purell that we've just been using very sparingly. Uh, but do you know that what company do you think produces Purell? Johnson Johnson? Oh, no. I should know that. I no. saw a show about it. <laughs> I can't remember the name of the company, but it's a family owned business and it has been since it started out. Right. They started out with something else and now they turned to Purell. They started out with something like for uh, like cleaning grease for people who were fixing cars and stuff. Oh, uh, Gocho. Gocho. Go, 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 gocho. My father was a, a mechanic and he used to use a lot of Gocho. Oh, yeah. I, and then they, and they came out with Purell and they are the people who make Purell. They are a privately owned business who are probably right now at this moment <laughs> making the biggest fortune they've yes. ever made in their life. Because they said, when I saw this thing about them, they said at the beginning nobody wanted to buy the crap. You know, they, they had a hard time selling it. And then it started catching on. And then it kind of, you kind of get addicted to it, you know? And it's after also this, class act it's going to be all over. Right now. For what? Really? For what? For uh, false advertising, misleading advertising. Oh, because of the 60% is the good one. And yeah. 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 Yeah, so they're going to, that'll probably cost them a couple million, but... I mean, they're, they're well, the truth of, of the matter is you can go down and buy, you know, a, a bottle of alcohol and just use alcohol and it will do exactly the same thing. However, however, try and buy a bottle of alcohol. <laughs> oh, don't really? You can't get that either? You can't get that. <laughs> I'm sure you can't. Let me, let me, let me just do this. Let me go to Amazon, <clears throat> okay, and put in alcohol. You can no, probably alcohol. use a bottle of vodka. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> For hard to run. Waste the vodka. Well, alcohol. <laughs> sanitize. Watch this, uh, folks. Uh, this item will be released April 30th. Those are alcohol wipes. Oh, no. Uh, let me see here. I'm looking just for alcohol, a bottle of... Uh... Isopropyl. Well, there is yeah. some hand sanitizer you can get for six ninety nine. That's uh, That's okay. Um... If I were to go to Purell, I bet they don't have any Purell. That's yeah. damn sure. Um, that explains the, the shortage. It's a little family company. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I think the shortage is that everybody wants it like crazy. You know, he, he, I do not get toilet paper. I don't understand that one. That one just totally eludes me. And I, tissues I mean, and napkins. I mean, I wipe my ass more than just about anybody I know because I'm an old man and I'm an altacaca, and the translation of that in Yiddish is old shitter, okay? <laughs> and, and right, Jeff? That's uh, right. Uh, old and, shitter. And, yeah, and, and um, I probably shit more than anybody does here. Uh, I don't like to brag, but hey, you know, if the president can, so can I. Anyway... <laughs> Uh, 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 and, and I don't use that much toilet paper. I mean, I'm sure I could get through a whole big thing of it from Costco in maybe a couple of months. All right. But, uh, the only problem is I like the, I like my toilet paper that I get from Costco, but I ain't going over to that Petri dish. I'm, t I'm sorry. I just, I, we were thinking about going to it yesterday and then, we, or today. And we were, so I said, nah, no way, no way. Because we get over there and think of all the things you have to touch mm -hmm. in order yeah. to, you know, when you buy things at stores and you bring them home, you got to clean the surfaces of all of them, yeah. you know? And I don't think that a car, uh, if you have a cardboard box and you get it from like, uh, uh, from what, uh, you know, Amazon, the outside of the box the virus can stay on for 24 hours. Yep. However, once you open it up, the inside of the box, there are, isn't any in there. It's the outside you have to worry about. So when you get the box home, put your gloves on, grab your box. Excuse me, Charlene. Grab your box oh. and then <laughs> open it up. That was Robin Bird. And then the get your stuff. Box. Get your get your stuff out of the box, okay? <laughs> and then take the box and I don't know, burn it or something. You know, uh, 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 just wash it all off and get rid of it. Put it out in the. Well, have you seen the signs at the bowling alley? 
Don't no. touch anybody else's balls. After yeah. You touch your <laughs> ball, wash your hands. Your balls, wash your oh, That's interesting. Hands. I never thought of that. Most people will go bowling unless you're a regular bowler. You don't have a ball, so you got to use the house. One of the funnier, one of the funnier things I've seen today. One of the memes running around. You remember the scream? Uh, who did the 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 artwork? The scream. You know, the guy screaming. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I forget that. Well, he's name. he's got a mask. He's got a uh, he's got a mask on. You know. Uh, oh, the Picasso one. Van Gogh, I think. Oh, Van Gogh. Van Gogh, yeah. yeah, with the with the with it's yeah. hanging down from one ear, and it's it, it, the it's quote on up. it is "fuck." Yeah. Can you yeah. believe well, we're in, we're in a box, really? Yeah. Yeah. Alex, yes, yes, Charlene. Yes. Did, did anybody see the View today? No. Because uh, uh, Whoopi kept asking Bernie, "Are you still running? Are you still running?" And he wouldn't answer. Her, but uh, he was going off. He said that if he would be president right now. Everyone would still be getting a paycheck. Everyone. And I'm like, how the hell would he do that, right? Like, if you're not working, Just how would you know? Just give $4 trillion to the banks. Mm -hmm. But uh, what do you think What do you think is going to happen? Because uh, actually, I mean, he still isn't out of the race, really, right? Because we never had the He says that there's, that, a right? he can, he, there's a narrow lead he could have. Uh, 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 Patrick's been quiet. Patrick, anything uh, you want to say here? Um, the only thing that I do with anything from Amazon yeah. is I have a bottle of Lysol by my front door, so when I get a package, mm -hmm. I spread the outside of the package down and then open it up and then discard the package. So, I mean, the Lysol kills... 99.9% .9 of whatever. So I'm pretty sure I'm safe at that. Yeah. Take out what, I, what I'm getting, and then I go wash my hands. And, you know, I mean, because for me, to get gloves and fuck around and fuck around, it's just easier to spray it down, wait a minute or two, and then open it up, get what I need, toss the package, and then go wash my hands. Well, you actually don't need to use the gloves. As long as you don't touch your face, but yeah. you wash your hands before you touch your face. But remember what I, I've said on here before, and I know I've said it on Jack's show. For me, it really doesn't even matter with sanitizing because the wheels on my wheelchair touch every surface, yeah. and I can't avoid it anywhere, whether I'm in my own place outside the garage, the hospital, the store. Yeah. And you know what? I can wash my hands a hundred times, and then when I go wheel away from the sink, I'm yeah. touching the same shit that I just, yeah. you know. So but let me ask open. you about, let me ask you about when you go out with the wheelchair. Do you have gloves that you wear? Well, yeah, yeah. even the gloves, yeah. you got to take them off, Alex. Oh, yeah. We're touching them. Yeah. And when I'm sitting, like, at a restaurant... I'm not having the gloves on while I'm eating, so then I'm moving my chair around without the gloves, and I'm still eating. So I'm hoping if there's any sort of justice in the universe that I have some immunity to some of these fucking diseases because of all <laughs> that I touch. I mean, just think about yeah. men. Yeah. You go into the men's room, yeah. uh, the floors are always wet, oh. and that that's freshly clean floor. Oh, wow. Yes, and it's on my hands. So, I mean, before I grab and stab, I have uh, hand wipes that are, you know, sanitizer. So I do that, and yeah. I stab myself, and I clean my hands afterward, but then I'm back to rolling around. So. I you know, I said this to you the other day. I mean, I was a paraplegic for about two hours. Uh, you know, so I, I know, I mean, I know the, fr I, I don't know how you do it. I mean, I couldn't move my feet, you know, I couldn't feel anything. Um, and then I reached down to feel my penis and I couldn't feel it. I wondered, oh my God, where's the rest of me? You know, uh, it, it was, it was really a, a strange feeling that I had. So, you know, I'm glad it was only two hours and I could be a dilettante about it. You know, but uh, I understand what what you go through every day. 
you know. Well, it'll be 17 years next Tuesday. So. Yeah. Yeah. But at well, least, you know, at you least if you... Eat, take in a it, beer, is that what you do? Steak, right? What what did you, what did you say, uh, Rob? The, the, the celebration, right? Don't you do a steak dinner and a beer or a scotch or whatever it is? Yeah, you I'm can't go out. Gonna, it's going to be delivered. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to car side service and then try to drag it in, so I'll just have it delivered. Yeah. So, yeah. What yeah. what day is that? Maybe we can all celebrate with you. Uh, next Tuesday. Next Triple Tuesday. Birthday. Okay, so he won't oh, be on next Tuesday. Are you already? Wow. Well, he might be on next Tuesday because if he does it at home, mm-hmm. you know, he uh, he'll he maybe can eat his uh, celebratory dinner in front of us. That would be mm-hmm. nice. And then we can sing. Uh, what do we sing? Happy what? What 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 would be the song? Triple anniversary. Triple anniversary. Happy triple anniversary to you. you. <laughs> Happy triple anniversary. Okay, everybody, get ready for that one. <laughs> so, uh, what's gonna? Ha- what do you figure is gonna happen to the economy, everybody? You figure we're uh, we're in for uh, after this is over, a depression comes along. Society oh, probably. I mean, mm-hmm. um, yeah. I mean, where, where's the money coming from? You know, the I mean, greatest depression. It will, it will make the last one look like a state fair. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> yeah. Well, uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully, you know, we'll find. I don't know. What? 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 You don't know what you can. Was that you, Jeff? I no, it wasn't me. Oh. Well, who is I, who is talking? I, I, I think uh, John. When, yeah, I do. I, I I think when this thing's all over, people are going to have um, a lot of uh, animal spirits all bundled up, and they're they're just going to go out and um, you know, and they're just everybody's going to be partying. It's going to be like you know, like the end of World War II. Oh, VE you know Day, I mean? is that it? VE Day? Yeah, right? yeah. But what's yeah. going to happen? Yeah. But I have a question here. This and, is and, and then. The economy it really exploded after World War II. It was all all through the fifties. It was a boom, you know. Yeah. So maybe that's what will happen. Just like you know. Who well, knows? Uh, but who knows what's going to happen? Because this thing is not going to be over in a month. We're still no. going to all be stuck in the house in a month. Oh, yeah. At what point do people start going ballistic? I, think I mean, when are people? Out. When do people start killing people? I mean, when? I'm glad I live alone. What, Jeff, did you have a f- feeling about that? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Jeff, what? This morning. Yeah. My wife, I was ready to kill her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like being mentally challenged just to be alone. Yeah. To be at home every day. Yeah. Yeah. You well, can't do anything. Yeah. Well, you know. Well, Marjorie has taken over the bedroom, so I go into the guest room, and that's my place to hang out. And, uh, you know, whatever. Did you have something to say, Bree? Because we're about ready to play the theme here. Yeah. There was a guy, uh, there's a story, a guy coughed in a parking lot of a grocery store. Another guy yelled at him, so he shot at him. I don't think he killed him, but that was once. And we had a case here in Malaysia where somebody had COVID-19 and they committed suicide rather than go through the process. Oh, yeah, there was, was a cop by story. suicide thing. Yeah, I heard that story. Yeah. In New York, yeah, cop by suicide. Hey, there's our theme, and it's been another good one tonight, and a lot of people viewing us. And I want to thank Rob, and I want to thank uh, um, um, uh, uh, Mr. Wallace and I want to thank Mr. Meyer and I want to thank Mr. Blazik and Miss Martinez and Mr. Zeller and uh, Mr. Stopper we hardly ever say Kevin's last name uh, um, and, uh, and, and and Tony and Tony and finally the the Artie Shaw of the uh, of the uh, citizen panel. Artie nobody, Shaw. nobody will get that joke except me. And uh, who was married to him? Oh, I think uh, think uh, what's her name? Who married Sinatra was married to him originally. Uh, anyway, hey, that's it. That's all she wrote. Uh, that's our citizen panel. And if they give a big wave goodbye, I'll give a w- big wave goodbye back. Okay, there they go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and I thank them all for calling. I hope that some of them will stick around, including you. 
and uh, go uh, have a nice time listening to the intersection with Jack Bishop, who I think will get on okay tonight. He had a little few problems last night, but I solved them for him. I'm Alex Bennett. Oh, we're running way over. Uh, sorry about that. Um, but we'll see you again tomorrow, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody.